YouTube. Welcome back to our channel. It's Papa Princess here, back with another food review. And today we are finally here reviewing the Yeti food for Halloween Horror Nights. There is a bloody campground poutine, which is char siu pork, um, gravy, cheese curds, potato fries, scallions, just and peanuts it looks like, cheese, it, it looks phenomenal. Um, there's also the um, vegan burnt ends and it's pretty much the exact same but with vegan cheese, vegan burnt ends, um, the gravy, everything, all the above, both look phenomenal. And then for dessert we have the bloody snowball which is like a chocolate mousse with uh, honey and coconut shavings on, on the outside so that's going to be really nice to yes. dive into after this. But without further ado we're going to go ahead and Get eating because bees are hungry. Yeah. Oh, okay. The potatoes are very soft. I really like that. And the potato, the pork, the peanut, a little bit of cheese on there. So, cheers. This is really nice. I had one of the burnt ends. And it has a nice brown gravy. It's really? Very nice. Nice. Yeah. The peanuts are a nice addition to it. Let me try some of this, this cheese. Now these aren't like battered or fried cheese curds. It's like straight up just cheese, which I like. There's the cheese on there this time. Mm, mm, mm. Oh wow. The cheese curd has almost a Baby Bell cheese type consistency. And I love Baby Bell cheese, so that's really nice. So, but am I? This right here is the vegan burnt ends. You can see the brown is the, the vegan uh, meat. You have the vegan cheese and the, the poutine. So, cheers. Mm -hmm. now, I know it's with yours. Yours has a little bit of a, just a tiny little bit of a bite to it. But it also has a bit of a sweetness to it. Yeah. It's really nice. Which do you prefer? Honestly, I'll prefer that one. Maybe. You want to switch? Um, yes. Okay, yeah, because I like both. First thing I will do though real quick, I do want to try this. Phenomenal. It's like a, what is it, like a chili pepper? So, Massive yeah. chili pepper? Oh, that's so nice. It's like, it's like crispy deep fry. But with that chili pepper though, I like the flavor. The, consist the, the, the texture though, Reminds me of sunflower seed, like the shell, and so it's very, very weird eating it. I feel like I'm not supposed to be eating it, but it tasted good. Yeah, I thought it was very good. Look at that! Wow, doused in gravy. The gravy doesn't make the fries soggy, you know. Oh wait, oh that tastes like that vegan cheese tastes like goat cheese. Yes. Yeah. Whoa. It just hit me now. That is, wow, that's so good. Go back to what I was saying. The fries are so crispy. The gravy doesn't make it like soggy, like how you would expect cereal to be, like soggy bread. It's, it's nice. Yeah, I just cut into the vegan meat. It looks like it's like processed, plant-based meat, but it's really good though. Like, really good. Surprisingly for like something that's not actually meat to taste so much like meat. Quick side note, I also got the Virgin Peanut Butter Smuggler. He got the alcoholic one. He's an adult. It's really good. Yeah. Really amazing yeah. flavor. Amazing. You're fantastic. Think about that these. slight spice. This is my third time getting these? Yeah. No, not tonight. My third time. Eventually. Eventually. You're fantastic. Yeah. Well. We still have something we haven't eaten yet. Yes. Oh, it has no smell. I don't know what I was expecting. I was hoping for a smell, but didn't get one. You know, that's how they tell the difference between boy snowmen and girl snowmen. Snowballs. Ew. So, the inside is like a really nice, almost Oh, yeah, it's red velvet. 
with a bloody center, it looks like. Whoa. That looks pretty nice. Nice coconut shavings on that. Oh. Yeah. Cheers. Oh. Yes. Yes, yes. An yes. almond joy. Now that center, I believe it's like a a regular frosting, like a buttercream frosting filling. We'll see you go. Now. It's a very light dessert. And it reminds me of Almond Joy. Like if I were to, it's Almond Joy. Thank you for uh, picking up the tab on this. All right. Honest opinions? The... Uh, Bloody campground poutine to start with. I liked it. It's really good. I like the peanuts. It gave it like this little bit of like a a sweetness to it because it's like a peanut butter, but it's it's peanuts. Um, the sauce as well. The gravy on the uh, bloody campground poutine was a little bit more sweet, which was nice. I'd give that a solid eight. Eight out of ten. I'd give it about a seven. Yeah, you know? it was good. It was you know, don't get us wrong. Like average. I'm starting to look at things here, like you know, when I come back, go out of my way to buy this. Yeah, and it's one of those things where maybe I buy it again, but I don't. I don't feel the mood think for I it. would. And same with the vegan. I would give it higher. I was gonna give the vegan burnt ends like an eight point five. I would give it higher too. I think eight point five, maybe. Surprisingly, it had more of a meat flavor. Yeah. Than yeah. The, it definitely had more. So and the cheese was just, it was so rich. It was, it was a very, it was nice. I liked how it tasted like goat cheese. The other one had more of like a baby bell flavor to it. And then the other, and then the, the vegan one, it was like a mix of laughing cow and goat cheese. And it was like, ooh, this is nice. And then for the bloody snowball, it's I nice. A, I would say it's nice. It's not not too soft, soft. Mm -hmm. but that's not saying it's bad. It's just it's about a seven and a half. It's like a, like a coconut, an almond a little, joy, a little round piece of coconut cake. Yeah, chocolate coconut cake. Yeah. If it's, you like almond joy, you would like this. Yeah. If you like coconut, you're gonna love this. Well, all right, folks, it's about all we have for this place. I will probably be reviewing a, another location in the same video, so. Stay tuned for that. Hey! What's up YouTube? It's Papa the Princess here, back with another food review here at Halloween Horror Nights. And today, we are trying out the food at 57 Scare. It's usually 57 Fair. I believe during the day, but for Halloween Horror Nights it's themed like scary, spooky, so it's 57 Scam. And there they have the uh, turkey coffin, Sambusa coffin, African lentil. No. It'll be on the screen to show you, but it is a, a coffin, pretty much, and it looks really neat. It's even got a little cross on it. And the pizza? Skull. <laughs> now, I've actually seen videos on TikTok on how to make these, so I'm thinking I might try to make them at home too. It looks amazing. It's, yeah, it, it, looks it, amazing. it just looks amazing. And then for dessert, apparently get, it's a one-eyed mummy pop. One-eyed mummy pop. We got we got a little unlucky with the pop, but it's I'm sure an it's eye gonna or something that needs to get checked at the doctor. Yeah, yeah. But regardless, he's gonna get devoured. He's done. He's gonna be in my belly. Oh yeah. All right, well. Here we go. Here we go. Something that looks similar to a chainsaw. Yeah, you're, you're kind of. I know, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. So you can see inside. With a pepperoni pizza, but in it's a. It's pepperoni and cheese. Nice. All right, so I made a bit of an error. <laughs> I was, I thought this was recording this whole time. And we've been eating a mummy uh, mummy cheesecake pop, uh, the African Sambusa coffin, and the pepperoni pizza skull, and it wasn't recording this whole time. Oh, so, oh, oh. quick after review, because, I mean, I'm still eating, he's done, but, um, 
the coffin was amazing. I um, honestly, you know, it's vegan. Yeah. I give it a 10 out of a 10. I mean, honestly, I mean, that's something I would come back for again. I, I've never found yeah. that any other place. I wouldn't um, give it a 10 out of 10. I'd give it like an 8, but it's still like really good. I I'm mean, comparing it to some of the other stuff though that we Yeah. Have, you know? I'd say I could, I could sit up there and buy with that. This and the galette. And the way that it's shaped and, the, and it's firm, you could just walk around and eat that like yeah. you're eating a pretzel. You know, I mean, just fantastic. fantastic. Very easy to share too. Yeah. Yeah. And the peaches go a little underdone. I will say that. But other than that, really good. Really I'll filling. It, it reminded me of a large pizza roll. Yeah. You know? I saw on TikTok how they make these, and they pretty much take like a muffin tin, and it's shaped like a, pe uh, a skull already. They line it with like puff pastry pizza dough, and then fill it with Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, tomato sauce, and cook it for like 13 minutes, and it, they make this, and it's so good. It's amazing. Yeah, no complaints. <laughs> All right, well, we... I've divided it up. Oh, I love the consistency of this. And it's an Oreo, mummy Oreo cheesecake pie. So. Okay. Cheers. Mm. Yay and nay. The, the taste is really good. The taste, really, yeah. But the that is not a cake pop consistency. Yeah, it's it's squishy. It like barely holds together. It's too moist. Great flavor. It's all cheesecake. Oh, the yeah. cheesy part of the cheesecake. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. It's the same. It's all cheesecake. I am sated. Not bad. Not bad. I am very happy. Cheesecake, uh, mommy, Oreo, cheesecake pop, whatever. Um, 7.5, your average. You're pretty average. It's I would nice. say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I rated that one 10. That's a little too high. Um, but I would say, I say yeah. solid nine. Definitely yeah. solid nine. Um, Pepperoni pizza skull, eight, maybe eight yeah, and a half. Yeah. And then like this, the coffin. I'm giving that like a solid 8.59. I'm giving that nine. Yeah. Nine. Um, this is nice. So 57 stair. It's the definitely all in one place. I mean, you've got two different types of uh, entree, if you want to call yeah. it that, and a dessert. Aside from that, they also have pizza and salad there too. So 57 stairs, as far as an yeah. all-around booth. Yeah, you've got uh, good snack options. I would say very much so. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Very much so. Yeah, that's about it for this now. All right, well, thank you guys so much. See you next time. Princess here, like, Papa Princess here, back with another food review. You're the princess now. Uh, You're very pretty. Well, today we have come to a food truck, kind of, that we've been meaning to do for a very long time because we pass it every single time we come here. The crepes. And we get the savory ones because we were not feeling sweet. And also, I can't have one of the ones that's sweet because it's hazelnut. But I have the smoked brisket one, which has brisket. Um, a honey barbecue ranch, um, coleslaw, and of course the beef brisket and, and a crepe. And it looks phenomenal. 
and I got the uh, street corn. I saw them making that one, and that looked Which amazing. Street corn. And there's a cilantro lime cream. Jalapeno. Jalapenos, and some cheese. And oh yeah, mine is pepper jack too. I forgot about that. It's but pretty flipping amazing. Yeah. So. And they they have forks for us to eat this. I was thinking about eating it like it's a burrito kind of, but I'm gonna try it first the way they intend yes. for us to do it. Me too. Just because I want to pretend I'm civilized at least. No, I don't know. I don't know how to do this. Okay. Um. That's just a bite of like brisket and coleslaw. So we'll no, see. I'm it. not going to try. Huh. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. Just got, I just have the edges of it. Meat a lot of a lot of crepe. Well, I can tell you the crepe is delicious. <laughs> yeah. The filling on mine is really good. I've tried that now. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god. I'm gonna get through all this crepe first. Wow. Give it a shot. Careful. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm handing it to you, man. Yeah. Yours is very messy. That's fantastic barbecue. Ooh. This is fantastic. Mm -hmm. This is a good The coleslaw and the brisket. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. The ranch barbecue sauce. Yes. Oh, How crazy is that? Mm -hmm. Don't want it, Again, I don't know how they intend for us to eat this. If they want us to keep it in here or just eat it like manhandling it. But either way, it's good. And the service wasn't too bad. I was worried about the time because it's usually packed. And it does take a while. Yeah, so it, plan on that. But they got, I'm going to say they have four grills going. Yeah, about four, four grills going. Oh man, that's good. This is extraordinarily filling. Really? I mean, oh my god. Just... Yeah, I've never been a big coleslaw fan, but I really like it in this. I would say yours tastes like a better Chipotle burrito. Like the softness of it, it's like yeah. a, a, a smaller sized Chipotle burrito with just like all the ingredients you want. Yeah. Mine's more like a but like a a barbecue uh -huh. a barbecue style wrap, I guess. And I like it. It's nice. A little bit messy. Yours is. Mine's all nice. Yeah, look at that. You see that Chipotle ranch just like seeping through everything right now. It's a barbecue ranch. Yeah. Here he comes. What did he get? What did he get? What did he get? What is that? What is that? It's vanilla ice cream. On a split donut. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Better? Much better. Excellent. Excellent. Alright. Well. Oh, you guys saw what that just was. Um, oh, sure. Donut sandwich with vanilla ice cream. Right now. Donut. Time to dig in. Somehow. Oh, this is going to be decadent. Oh, my God. I could just tell by how this looks. Cheers. Mm. I don't really taste the donut, but that vanilla ice cream is. Vanilla ice cream with uh, caramel topping. Oh, is that the top topping you chose? Yeah. Nice. I know you like caramel. Nice, yeah. No complaints. This is extremely nice. Never ever thought of putting ice cream on a donut. No. This may be something that we do. Very cold, as expected. Oh man, look at that. The other side, it looks all glazed. It's even shiny. Oh my gosh, cheers. I'm glad you like your life. It's a very nice 
nice to glaze, nice glaze, very, very cake-like. Very cakey. I, I can cut right into it with a spoon. Yeah. Oh, that was good. I gave my crepes um, a nine, and I gave yours an eight point five. I would give mine. I would give mine an eight. Okay, yeah. I, I rated mine. Um, I would give yours a nine. Okay, yeah. We both agree mine was better. Oh yeah, maybe even a nine and a half. That was fantastic. That, that was. It was really good. I was, really good. I was lamenting that I did not pick that one. Yeah, yeah. That was. And then that. That's just. 8.5, yeah, 9, this, yeah. not, no, yeah. Gen 9 is too generous, 8.5 is good. Right. I mean, of Big desserts that we've had here, <clears throat> anything that's involved ice cream so far has been heard out of the All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, go down below, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you want to see more of our content. But we will see you guys next time. Later.